Hi, three Mr. Math here. I'm going to be making a video today about how to uh, just manage your own website using Google Sites. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go to your browser. I'm using Google Chrome here on a PC. Just FYI, um, you're going to want to sign in, and in my case, I'm going to be using Colfax Nordic. So, once you sign in, then you're going to want to go to the option Sites, which is right here, and then you're going to click on your site. If you don't have it up, you can set it up. It's very easy with Google Sites. And then here is the main page. So I'm just going to go tab by tab. So say I want to edit the main page. Um, this is actually a gadget right here for latest announcements. And this is also a gadget here for Colfax schedule. And if you want to uh, edit those tabs, then you actually have to go uh, into uh, the background of what these gadgets do. So say I want to add more text. I'm going to click here or hit E on my keyboard. And I can add another exclamation mark, do whatever. It actually looks beautiful as it is. And say I want to add another photo, it doesn't really matter where your cursor is, it's always going to add a photo to the top. And you're going to go up here to insert. Uh, if you're not logged in, none of this will be an option. So insert, you can normally just hit image and that will pull directly from your computer, not from online. But if you want to pull from your online library, you can go to Picasso Photo. And that will just grab from the program Picasso. And you can do that. So yeah. Um, so when you go here and try to insert your Picasso photo, it will actually show you all of your groups and say I want to pull from this group and then I can choose from all the photos that are in that group and then I can choose a photo, so let's select this one and then it will put in that photo. So if you want more options with this photo, you can click on it, uh, line left, line center, line right. Um, these just control how big the photo is. and uh, the wrap on, this will make it so that you can type on the sides, but right now wrap is off, which means I can only type above and below the picture. So I'm not actually going to put that in here because it looks horrible. Sorry, Jeff. Um, and I'm going to hit remove. And just make sure that once you're done editing everything, that you click save or cancel if you don't want to save. And that will just bring you back to normal mode. Um, same thing with the gadgets. Click on them to change them. I mean, you can edit them with the properties here and what they're named and everything and you can even delete them if you want and you can also insert more gadgets by going here and more gadgets or just whatever gadgets that are under this category I'm not going to do that because like I said this looks fine so I'm going to click save because I'm going to save it okay so next announcements uh, to follow or to uh, post a new announcement what you're going to do is click new post you don't have to be in edit mode so you just click new post and what that will do is create a new page and it will already be in the editing format for you as you can see up here and then you name your post post awesome incorrect grammar and then you can type in the details of what you want your post to say and then once you uh, click save uh, not save draft because that won't actually submit it you'll click save and this will save the whole new page and then it will show up um, in your announcements and I didn't save it, so it's not going to be here. And this is automatically connected through Twitter and Facebook. So once you post here, it will show up on both your Twitter page and your Facebook page. I'm not sure if it's called a Twitter page. I don't use it enough. I'm sorry. Um, so going down the tabs, uh, team schedule. This is linked through uh, Google Calendar. So if you ever want to edit your calendar, you can just uh, go to a new tab, go home, and then you're going to want to go to your calendar and you can edit it here and once you um, update it here you can add a new time or whatever you can create and uh, sort all of your options and once you do that you just make sure that you save it and then it will um, update it here once that is done uh, moving down we have photo gallery um, I don't insert uh, pictures one by one by one because it just gets tedious and it doesn't look very nice so what I end up doing as I did here in photo gallery from last year is I have them scroll through as a gallery and to do that you want to go to edit the page and then you're going to want to insert and instead of going to a Picasso photo you're going to use a Picasso web slideshow and once you click that it'll just give you your categories that you can choose from so say I want to do that and then it gives you uh, more options leave that the same uh, I usually use large I mean the bigger they are the harder it's going to be for the browser to load um, you can show captions all this whatever you want and but I'm not going to do that so uh, that's how to do that and that actually pulls from Picasa and that program is right here 
and I have mine set up so that it pulls photos from wherever I have on my computer, even if I download them from online, as seen here. And say I want to put these photos online. Well, first you're going to have to sign in with your Google account, which I don't want to do right now. And then once you're signed in, all you have to do is click Sync to Web. And yes, I know I'm not signed in. And this will slide this from the left to right, and it will take a while to update. And then after that is done, it will come up. I'll show you where. So you go back to Google, Google, and don't go to Images. You go to Photos. It's very different. And then it will it will show up here. And if you also want to open up. Uh, Picasso, you can just click, click upload and that will just open it up directly if you ever forget it where it is on your uh, desktop. So, and this is basically the same setup. I mean, I can click on the category and it will show me all the photos and then I can edit the photo, I can add a comment, I can do whatever I want. But basically, this is linked with Picasso, so that is very handy to know. And that's how to change all the photo gallery. gallery. Make sure you click save. Going down, erasers times. So you also, this is already set up. Um, you can actually add a new table if you want to, but you have to go to edit back here and then insert, and then you're going to want to insert your table. So uh, I'm actually not going to do that. Um, to add people's times, you don't have to be in the edit mode. You just have to add an item, which is really nice. So you just add your item, and I have it set up very handy for you. So you type in the person's name, say Andrew, how far they skied, six kilometers, their time, be it 30 minutes or 15 minutes, who cares. Choose your date, that's very easy for the calendar. The place overall, this would be something along the lines of 30 out of 60. And then for their category, say I was uh, 19 out of 20. And then class, you can choose from your options and race name. I know that the class and race name you might want to change, so you can customize that with the customize the list, and you just go here, and then you can change what the title of this is called, name, so if I typed in something different, I'm not going to, but then you can change that. But say you go down here to class, and it is a drop down, you can change options if you want, but I'm not going to, and you just add another class, and then whatever class it is, but I'm not going to. And delete is the X button. Same thing with categories. If you don't want the category, it's this X button right here to delete. You can also add more columns, whatever your will asks for. Say you don't want this post anymore. Um, I can click on it, and then I can delete this item. So that's gone now. And that's basically all the table information. Team information, uh, this is a basic edit, and I used just a picture that you don't have to mess around with. So everything else should be set up for you and everything else from last year is filed away. So if you have any questions just post them in the comments for the video or email me, whatever works. I'll talk to you guys later hopefully.